This episode is brought to you by Rochester Brainery, offering single session classes where you can learn to make a great cocktail, craft your own paper flowers, try tapestry weaving, and more. Rochester Live! Welcome to the show! Today on the show, Cam Phelps from the Daily Refresher. Welcome to the show! Megan Carter from 98PXY. Welcome to the show! And as always, your host, Ron Ferrara! Hi, Ron! Hey, guys, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rochester Live. Thank you for joining us today. And, uh, boy, so much to talk about here. Uh, Mike, I don't know if you saw this, uh, the King of the Netherlands just came out as saying he's been living a double life. Whoa. Yeah, for the last uh, 20 plus years he's been a uh, co-pilot for an airline. No way. Yeah, which is very different from our president, who has been totally transparent about piloting us into the ground. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kentucky, a Girl Scout troop leader is, has been arrested after stealing $26,000 worth of Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. I think that's like 14 boxes? <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is big. Uh, Michael Vick just signed on with the uh, new American Flag Football League, uh, which is kind of perfect because the Flag Football League is all bark and no bite. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> Our air show was canceled after the uh, Canadian Snowbird flight team canceled the event. They're not going to come. Uh, but it does add to the rich tradition of birds from Canada shitting on Rochester. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, uh, there's a new study that just announced that uh, orangutans breastfeed longer than any other mammal, sometimes for up to 10 years. See, Mike, you're not alone. Oh, it's got hair in it. That's disgusting. Hey, why don't we get the uh, show going here? Uh, why don't you play me to the desk and uh, see what happens? <laughs> Uh, it was really gross of you. Uh, anyway, we got so much uh, to go over here. Actually, I just heard this uh, awesome story on the radio the other day. <laughs> oh, radio. radio? Hold on oh. a second. What? Let's stop you right there. <laughs> okay. What, what are you guys doing? Not on board with the radio thing. No. What's with the hats, guys? Uh, you want to explain it to us? Yeah, yeah. It's to block the radio signals from right. getting into your brain and influencing your thoughts. Yeah. You know? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, duh. It's basic science. It's radio science. waves travel through the air, and that's why they call it the radio. And it's got the voices on it, and they bounce through the air into your skull, into your brain, and convince you of silly things. You've, You've got, got to block that. The radio shit. doesn't convince people of things. Yeah, it does. What, what kind of stuff? What, what's it telling Number you Number one, for example, like, uh, let's say that they teach you in school that storks deliver babies. Right. Have you ever seen a stork flying through we, the air we all know carrying that's, a that, baby? That's not true. We all know that's not true. Didn't think so, Ron. I, Next question. I wasn't asking questions. I wasn't confirming that either. Also, they also tell you in school about the toads. Oh, don't get me started on the toads. You're supposed to kiss them and they turn into a prince? I kiss toads. No, that's kiss tons of toads. Kiss frogs to turn them into princes. Oh, it's frogs? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so incredibly stupid. Uh, you know, forget my story. Let's just go right into the show here. Because uh, our first guest is actually from the radio. Uh, she's on 98PXY. And she's not going to brainwash you, okay? So play something nice for her, please. Here's Megan Carter. Ron's gonna kill the radio star. Ron's gonna kill the radio star. Megan, don't get in his car. Thank you for that. Super creepy. I was feeling good, and now I don't know where, where babies actually come from now. Right. So now Are I'm a little people? confused. <laughs> Your parents haven't had the talk yet? I guess not. Well, no. no. Storks. I've been saying some wrong birds, things for years. Bees. It's very complicated. Yeah. So thank okay, you for having yeah. me so much. Thank this is you. fun. It is. This is a blast to have yeah. you here. And uh, obviously everyone knows you from being on 98 PXY. Uh, but you I wouldn't say everyone. Well, I'd say you. And, like, just us. That's it. This <laughs> only, room. Only people. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but you were, uh, you're a Rochester transplant, right? I am. Where I am. From? I am from uh, the fabulous town of General Electric, Schenectady, New York. Oh, sure. It's just as interesting as you would think, because that's all we have. Sure. Is she, actually, that's not true. We have a casino now. Oh, okay. So we're moving on up in the world. Almost to Rochester level. Almost. But uh, Schenectady, and then moved to uh, good old SUNY Brockport okay. when, uh, to go to school, and I forgot to leave. So here I am. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks, thanks. Now, did you go to school for radio? I did, yep. Okay. Yep, got in their communications program, worked on the college station, 89.1 The Point. 
Shameless all five people there. who listen. Yeah, that's right. Well, we only have five people watching, <laughs> so the odds of them even listening to that, very slim. Well, it's like you guys, it goes over to like the TV channels that get played, you know, right. in the dining halls during the midnight <laughs> breakfast. Like, that's why. I wish we had that viewership. That's your end. That's how you get in. Get in through Midnight Pancakes and Finals Week. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> You, your show is super early in the morning. It, it, well, it's well, it early starts for early. some. Sure. Yeah, we're on from uh, 5.30 to 10 on 98PXY. It's uh, Team PXY with Carter and Corey, yep, you're happy who's not team. here. <laughs> yep, who's not here. Now, is it tough for you getting up that early, or are you used to it now? <sighs> you know what's funny is when I first got this job, we took over a couple years ago when Spazano and Sandy made the move to the buzz. And I was such a brat. I told everybody, like, I, you, I don't know what you guys complain about. It, getting up early, like, you just got to get in a routine. You're going to be fine. I'm going to show you guys. No, you never, ever, ever get used to that alarm going off in the morning. Never, ever. Well, it's going to be tough living a normal life, too. Uh, right? I know. Uh, when I say happy hour, and, it, and then I tell them it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I get a lot of weird looks. Right. You think there's something wrong with you. Yeah. It's totally well, fine. There could be, but that's Well, the Jesse Boys, he works graveyard shit. At a graveyard, I think. Is that where you got the fur vest? I'm guessing from all of our wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> comes from casket. That's right. Check your loved ones. That's right. You'll recognize this from Mr. Newman. That's the last Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Your show, uh, what, for people that don't know, what type of music do you usually play? We are the pop station. We are the top 40. You have your kids bothering you in the car and have it on, or you want to have the secret Britney Spears dance party that we all have on 490 all. when it's not moving. <laughs> that's what that's what we're here for, right. yeah. When we do those La La Land dance numbers where we all get out of our cars. 98 PXY. <laughs> now, uh, is that your preferred type of music? You listen to other stuff. You have guilty pleasure music? What Being, are... well, what's fun is, is with... Top 40 and 98PXY, it's music of all genres, really. I mean, we play country music, we play pop music, we play rap music, we play a little bit of everything, some alternative. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite okay. genre because we got all the guilty guilty pleasure so ones. No listening to the competitors. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> uh, oh, so that's what you were leaning I towards. Little Jeez, little. I, I love W-B-E-E. -E. <laughs> Today's country, 10 in a row. You just got yourself fired. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I used to work for the B, actually. Did, did you know you? that? I did not know that. I did that. nights on the B. There are a lot of people who love drinking by bonfires at night. That's right. Lots we are of some people. of them. Usually mm -hmm. silent. We stare at each other in quiet. <laughs> that was my job. <laughs> just like woo you guys to sleep so you can get up for your jobs in the morning. So you're well versed in music. Do you play music as well? You... I wish. No. My, I played the trumpet. I in, need a replacement. Very in fifth grade band. Great. Actually, I always wanted to play the drums. I'm super jealous. Well, my parents would never. Hmm. Would I be allowed to try? I, it's unorthodox, but I'll allow it. Let me see. If, Let me see really if I can. Do this. Can you? Uh, something I've always wanted to learn. Can you teach me how to do a drum roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you can do that. Ready? Okay. So is, is it this one? And then you just hit the drum. <laughs> Dreams do come true, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> No, I was not you, allowed to play drums. You sharing you sticks why. with strange men. There is no. Uh, don't no, don't just ever go over there again. Drums and a few piano lessons when I was a kid, but that's about it now. I prefer to hang out with the people in the band, so I'm just cool by association without having right. any talent whatsoever. Sure. That's how I get through life. What are you saying about me? Uh, <laughs> are you cleaning your sticks now? I'm sorry. What I do? A brainwashing radio person <laughs> touched the sticks. Oh, I'm, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you do uh, events, too. You travel a bit for the station. For sure, and yeah. Stuff. Go, uh, we go all in about town. That's one of the things I love about radio is, and especially Rochester radio. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Rochester has got some really, really awesome radio hosts who are local and hang out here and intertwine with the community and go out and about. So, yeah, if it's not for the station, you'll see me out and about downtown all the time. Probably too late. If it's after dark, kick me out. <laughs> are you happen. ever recognized? Uh... Do people ever pick you out, or is it? It's never my face. It's always my voice. Sure, I've been told I have a face for radio. Like I never I, the voice though. I hate that. It's been yeah. After a couple of cocktails, you get a little loud. I'm sure we all know. We, we you can't be the only one out there who that's happened. Well, it's funny you bring up cocktails because uh, our second guest owns a bar. Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I said yes? I'm joking. Why do you think I'm the joking. crew showed up today? Yeah. Why, why do you think any of us are here? Uh, we'd like to bring out our next guest, Mr. Cameron Phelps from The Daily Refresher. Guys, you want to play Camo? Cam, welcome. 
Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Uh, you're a dear old friend of ours. You've damaged all of our livers. For sure. Uh, tell us about the Daily Refresher. How long have you guys been open? Uh, November 9th, 2012. We, mm -hmm. uh, we opened our doors to the public. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, I guess that's almost five years now. So. Wow, it's gone by quick. And now, uh, for yeah. people who haven't been there, what's the theme like? Because you certainly have a, a feel when you walk in there. Yeah, I mean, we have the one of the largest whiskey selections in upstate New York and spirit collections as well. Not ghosts, alcohols. Right. <laughs> different spirits. Totally different spirits, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so I think, I think we're up to about three... 320 in, in terms of whiskey. Okay. And probably like seven or 800 different spirits just in general. Wow, that's, um, that's impressive. Yeah, so pre prohibition style bar. It's know. very old fashioned. Yeah. And uh, everyone loves the look that you guys do with you know, a lot of mustaches and, and vests and very dapper gentlemen over there. Yep. That was your mandate? Was that your idea? Uh, <laughs> Only yeah, nice boys here. Yes and no. Like we wanted to do, we wanted to elevate the cocktail scene in Rochester a little bit with uh, vests and ties and sort of bring it back um, using sort of, uh, you know, the, the example of New York City with PDT and Death and & Co. and uh, a few of the other uh, really classy bars uh, down down. Well, and Yonder. you guys have certainly helped build that scene because the last few years it's exploded. Mm -hmm. But there's tons of cocktail bars now. And, uh, I mean, do you feel partially responsible for that? Is there a... I mean, only a because ego there at all? only because yeah, they, there's been a few more that have popped up, which is kind of cool. But you do you, you? I like to think that you guys are a little uh, above everybody else because you offer things that other people don't. You have a food truck. I don't think anyone else a has a food truck. truck. Yeah, it's, it's uh, that's a funny <laughs> scenario to have a food truck in our backyard, but um, it works. Because well, you have a you have a kitchen and a food truck. Yep. Yeah, we do the kitchen uh, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then winter, and then food truck uh, Thursday through Sunday. Oh, We're open on Sundays now. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the chicken waffles. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are. Pretty amazing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was that, that was, uh, where'd that come from? That wasn't from the beginning. That came a little later yeah, on, Yeah, right? it, it's funny. Um, I'm, I'm a weirdo. I remember every date for <laughs> every single thing. June 26, 2013, uh, we opened the food truck. When was the first time I came in the bar? <laughs> Uh, it was November 10th, 2012. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. He's good. Uh, but pretty pretty soon after we opened, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I think Mike, you, you, when, you Mike yeah. when you opened the downstairs yeah. bar, he was the first person to actually order a drink at the downstairs bar. Really? Yep. It's all been downhill for my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great. Yeah, yeah it's spiraled great. out of control, I, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, yeah. Out of control. You do events too, though, because uh, I've seen you take the truck places and everything. Yep. We do the food truck rodeo mm -hmm. and, and clothesline festival for sure. Like, those are... Um, staples in terms of food truck events. And then, you know, we'll go other places. So you've done catering and, and stuff too? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a viable option for people looking yeah. for a delicious truck to use? Yeah, it's fun. And you do classes and workshops and stuff? You've yeah. seen all kinds of things uh, on the calendar. And my life is just filled with <laughs> alcohol and food. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Yeah, wow, it's all, it's all what a shame. Shot ever. Yeah, Cooper uh, Morehouse and I started a company called the Flower City Drinksmiths. Okay. So we teach people how to make uh, cocktails. and give them recipes and show them how to shake a cocktail properly or stir or whatever. You were good enough to teach uh, me a while back. You, we did a segment where you yeah. showed me how to make a drink. That's right. Um, you had the mustache I, on. I yeah. wasn't glued on or anything like that. No, no. Ron, do you do a lot of highlighting? No, uh, the reason I keep these here is when the band pisses me oh, off, geez. I like to throw them. Perfect. We, give it a try. Oh, I'll she got the drum, you can throw stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, Did you purposely almost, save it? Almost two for one. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Jumping back to classes, yep. you, uh, you do beer yoga. And I, now I've seen this in headlines all over yeah. the place, but I know you've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. You were on this way early. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we partnered up with a girl named uh, Nicole Kazmer. And she does hike yoga. And uh, she's just one of our friends that started this, this company uh, called Hike Yoga. And uh, we just decided it'd be cool to mix the cocktail class with, with yoga. And so we've been doing it for... I think like two years now, okay. um, and it's it's actually a lot of fun. You know, the ladies and a couple guys. There's usually a couple guys. Um, you know, they do a yoga session and then a drink session. The second yoga session, man, it's got to be tough because. Anyway, how uh, does your tree pose work after yeah. a few cocktails? Yeah. Like just. Who was it? Someone <laughs> while we were getting ready for the show called it butts and beers. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> was that you? <laughs> I, I think it's a good name. It's I pretty don't know. Sure. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now do you have any uh, events coming up soon? Uh, and this will I mean, start we, in June we maybe? Have what do you one, got going on? We have one big one that uh, we're starting to put together with uh, Southern Tier Distilling and the brewery. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do a combination of uh, possibly like beer cocktails with Southern Tier uh, 
their um, their new Spirit line. Yeah. Uh, and we're working on getting a band and a whole bunch of other things and make it. I don't know if you saw the pictures of our our cocktail revival tiki bar. Yes. And so I think we got a uh, reggae band. I forget the name of it off the top of my head right now. Um, but I think I might set the bar up again as a tiki okay. bar and kind of go crazy. That would be really cool. Yeah. yeah Maybe what be, about you? What do you got going on? It should be pretty cool. Uh, I know in a few weeks from today, actually, we've got uh, Nutty Pixar Summer Jam. It's our big show that we do at Frontier Field. Mm -hmm. 15,000 of your closest friends. Uh, this year's headliner is, uh, I'm sure if you kids know it, or you like to sneak Girl Meets World on Netflix like I do. Right. Uh, Sabrina Carpenter from Disney is going to be coming. John Bellion, Clean Bandit. We've got a lot of good acts. So get your tickets. NuttyPXY.com. Love to see you. It's going to be like 20th year. It all keeps going forever and ever. <laughs> ever and ever. Now you said 90pxy.com to yes, find that? Yes. And Cam, where can we find out about you? Uh, dailyrefresher.com uh, or thedailyrefresher.com. Sure. You guys have a good Instagram account, account too. It's, yep. it's pretty mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah. Keep up on that. Yeah, definitely Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah. Not bad. Now, yeah. before we let you guys go, I mean, Megan, you're out and about all over town. You've been everywhere. Cam, you've made every drink known to man. <laughs> I think we got to test you guys and see who can make the better drink. So uh, we're going to do a segment that we're calling Ron Tap. Thank you, oh, so we're going to have some ingredients brought out here. Okay. So we have uh, all different kinds of uh, alcoholic beverages, non-alcoholic beverages, a hmm. uh, whole bunch of stuff there. <laughs> and we're going to challenge you to make a signature drink right here, right now, okay. just with what's in front of you. But there is a secret ingredient. Genesee River Boys, will you please announce the ingredient? Captain Crunch! That's, that's not a drink. You guys well, couldn't afford full crunch berries, could you? The, uh, <laughs> the, the, You're going to use the milk with this, too? The, the we, yeah, milk. we have the monkey <laughs> milk, if you'd like. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, so, yeah, this isn't a drink, but you're going to have to work in Captain Crunch. There's some cups of it there uh, on your stand. Uh, if you would like to uh, start, no, we don't have a timer. We're just going to let Mike hold his breath, and whenever he blacks out, that's when you're done. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> oh, it splashed. It's so gross. I, I can't believe he brought it over without the top on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just asking for trouble. Yeah, I don't. Oh, Dad. All right, let me know when I start holding my breath. Ready, Mike? Whenever you want to start holding your breath, right. go for it. You guys, go. And uh, if you could talk us through what you're doing okay. while okay. you're doing it, kind of go through your game Shall plan with us. Well. I kind of wanted to be quiet first so I could basically just copy whatever oh, Cam was doing. Sure, right. sure. Yeah, feel um, free to use the corner of my desk. If, uh, you know what? Let me see what we got here. We got gin. Not really a gin girl. There you go. But this is, just, this is just like the Daily Refresher slide. This is it, it almost too nice. I don't know there's, what to do with there's any There's nothing. Of these nice brands. There's nothing <laughs> cheap there at all. <laughs> Mike's turning blue. Uh, yep. You have until he turns purple. Okay. <laughs> I don't go off. Oh, tequila. There we go. There, there's your favorite. <laughs> yep. Uh, nothing like a, a real <laughs> Things challenge. you've never heard of. I okay. thought you had hundreds and hundreds of kinds of I alcohol. Think I'm done. I'll I'll be just You're done. Okay. So. Cam, you got a, a couple Close seconds. Your gut. Yep. Mike's going out. He's, he's fading. Tequila. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm not done. One more, guys. Oh. Use the crunch. Use Mike. the camping crunch. Yeah, you can be as creative or not creative as you'd like with that. You know, even if Mike. Well, Ooh. you know what? I don't think hey. we're going to use that. Hey. <laughs> it's a very shaky it's not card. Not that kind of party. It's common. Happens to a lot of guys. <laughs> yep. Mike, sorry. <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make some cereal. Okay, out of you're just gonna go ahead and dump <laughs> it in. I think that means the time is up. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to taste test these. Uh, unless anyone else, no one else wants to. Oh, if I'd known that, I would have made it way worse. <laughs> if I could get a, a, one of the empty cups there, sure. I'd, I'll do like a, it's wine. I'll spit it out after. Okay. You're gonna want to. I don't want to choke on the crunch berry dust. <laughs> or the Cam crunch dust. Okay, uh, so Cam, we'll start with yours. You want to tell us what you did here? Dual tequila and tonic and. Uh, wow, it's all tequila. <laughs> <laughs> a little tonic stuff that splashed in there by accident. Okay, yeah. what would you call this? Uh, psh, I don't even know. Couldn't even come up with a name for that. Mm -hmm. It's just the worst drink ever. <laughs> <laughs> Rings a bell. But I like the fact that you're actually drinking it, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good notes. Yep. The captain. Yep. <laughs> mm. Should have used uh, 
the the rum, then he could have said uh, something about the captain. Oh, captain. That, that's no. captain and captain. Yeah. Captain my captain. Wow, you guys both failed then. Yeah. Well, let's see. Don't, Unless you don't worked in the rum. This yeah, till you right? try it. Right? All right. What do you got? She's, so this is. Ah, my this has to do. It needs to go in a specific. I gotta order. cleanse the palate. <laughs> that's okay. I'll let you. You're gonna need some time with this. No. Which one did you just put? This so one? this is a, in a specific order. This one oh. goes first, and then this one, and then you chase with the captain crunch. There you go. I like to call this the SUNY Brockport Sunday. So where you wake up on your couch and you're thirsty Ooh. and you're taking, you're just reaching out for a drink and you find something, you're like, okay. Yeah. Oops, I made a huge mistake because it's Jim Beam Apple. Mm -hmm. So then you got to mm -hmm. chase that mm -hmm. with some Gatorade, which is what you were meant to grab in the first place. Mm -hmm. And then chase with some Captain Crunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The SUNY Brockport Sunday, mm -hmm. my friends. Soon to be served at the Daily Refreshing. Yeah, right. Downtown. It's going on our menu. That actually... <laughs> I do have to say, the uh, the Jim Beam and the Gator or the Powerade went really well together. Right? It's not That's my not, first So I, guys. unfortunately, Cam, I think she showed you up. That's uh, based which, on what I had to work with. We know. got some, some we got some prizes for you. We have more cereal. Yes. Uh, congratulations. There you, there you are. Thank you. Do you want to split these? Uh, with it? I, yeah, I'm gonna need something gonna to get let this you taste have this out of my mouth. Weird. Do you see the oh. eyeballs on that? That's weird. You can have that oh, one. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you guys both for uh, joining us today, and uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Oh. This episode is brought to you by Rochester Brainery, offering single session classes where you can learn to make a great cocktail, craft your own paper flowers, try tapestry weaving, and more.